is soy good or bad for you well in this video we'll compare the pros and the cons of soy to help you decide there are also different types of soy products which we will cover as well so stick around by the way my name is albert if you are new here and you want to optimize your diet to burn fat live long and feel awesome start now by subscribing okay why might soy be healthy you could say it is natural our ancestors did have access to soy adamine as well as most soy products are very low in carbs making them suitable for the ketogenic diet and adamine itself is very nutritious actually it contains a ton of vitamin k1 as well as other vitamins especially b vitamins such as theamine riboflavin choline and folate. As far as other nutrients, adamine is very high in magnesium and potassium and calcium and almost every person lacks these so adamine is very nutrient dense. Soy contains a lot of protein and compared to other plant-based sources it's actually a very bioavailable protein meaning that soy has a very good amino acid profile compared to other plants. Soy contains a lot of isoflavins, which is a type of phytoestrogen, but it's also very good for your bones. Soy appears to be very heart healthy, and there are many studies that show the great effect of soy on your cardiovascular health. Soy is incredible for helping women with menopause and fermented types of soy contain a lot of probiotics. Plus they are typically very high in vitamin K2 and K7 which almost every person lacks. Now the dark side of soy. As I said soy does have a good amino acid profile compared to other plant-based foods. But as far as comparing it to animal-based food, soy is a loser. Animal products will just always be better for building muscle than plant-based products. Soy is typically being sold unorganic and highly refined. There is a lot of people who have a soy allergy who are allergic to soy and soy itself increases allergies. Soy is horrible for your thyroid even in a small amount. It contains hexane which is a neurotoxin. It basically kills your neurons. It raises your estrogen and that is not even good for women because this artificial race of estrogen will always cause hormonal imbalances. If you are a man, the effects will obviously be more noticeable if you have higher estrogen because you will act and look more like a woman. But for both men and women, so it might actually make us impotent. And there is a huge increase in your chance of breast cancer if you consume a lot of soy. And overall, soy is shown to be very inflammatory. So all things considered, soy is, in my opinion, bad, horrible for your health. At least most of it. I would definitely stay away from soy milk, soy protein, tofu, and even edamame. What I would consider eating is organic nado. Nado is a fermented type of soy from Japan and is by far the number one dietary source of MK7. MK7 is a type of vitamin K which almost nobody is getting enough of. You can obviously take MK7 supplements, I don't think there's anything wrong with that, I myself do it, but you can also take nado and only as little as one ounce of nado will already provide you with more MK7 than you need for a week. Plus there is a lot of probiotics in it. So nano is in my opinion awesome, but other than that I would stay away from soy. If you like this type of videos, make sure to check out the whole good or bad series for free. You can find it somewhere here on the screen. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.